kindergarten. It's Mrs. Griffith back again. We're going to do some more math work today. And as you know, this week we're working on measurement and we have been talking about capacity, which is how much a container can hold. And so um, we have four jars here, four containers, I sh should say. Um, some jars, some beakers uh, used for science experiments. And I have this particular jar right here, and it is called my measuring jar. And my measuring jar, you will notice, has a strip of tape that's going up the side. And it starts with number one, and it goes number two, number three, number four, all the way up to number 11. Okay? So this is my measuring jar, and this is what we're going to use to measure the capacity of these containers. So you will need for this lesson, mom and dad will need to give you your measuring book. Okay, they have this in your uh, reading or in your computer folder today and they will print it out for you. You do need this printed out today. Um, it comes for them in a sheet this size, like this, boom, 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 boom. And then they just need to cut it into fourths for you, okay? You can staple it at the top or paper clip it or whatever, you don't need to, but that's kind of helpful. Write your name at the top. And then it says the measuring jar. And here it is, the measuring jar. Now, I have a big copy. Mine is big, just so you can see it. And you'll see that there's two sides to your measuring jar sheet, okay? One side says guess. That's the first side here. And then the next side says check. And then here's the check side. Okay, and you'll see a picture of the measuring jar. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be guessing each time to make sure or to, to estimate how far up the measuring jar will the liquid go, okay, from each of these containers. All right, that's what we're going to be doing today. So. If you don't have your measuring book, you need to stop the video and you need to go get it. You also need a crayon or a marker and a pencil, okay? So three things, measuring book, crayon or marker, and a pencil. If you don't have them, go get them, push pause and come back, all right? because we're working with capacity today. And you need those things. All right, I hope everybody's back and ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have some food coloring here and I'm going to put a drop or two of food coloring in each of the containers. So here's my first container. I'm gonna give it ooh, a couple drops of red. And we're gonna turn that water nice and red. Isn't that cool? This container, this next container, we're gonna put in a couple drops of blue. Woo, look at that, kind of a nice sky blue. And this next container, I'm gonna put some drops of green. There you go. And then this container, this last container, let's put some drops of yellow. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, there they go. It's kind of fun to watch them go all the way down, isn't it? This is one of our favorite things to do in kindergarten every year when we do our capacity lesson. The nice thing about being at my house is I can just get a stir stick here. I'm gonna use a knife. I'm going to stir up that red, stir up that blue, 
Fill up that green. And last but not least, gently, gently try to stir up that yellow. Ooh, that's hard to do all the way to the bottom, isn't it? I don't want it to overflow. Well, we'll let the le we'll yep, let the yellow make its way down as we're doing our lesson. Okay, so we have our four containers and we have our measuring jar. So the first one we're going to do is our red container. Okay, here's my container. Here's my measuring jar. So I'm going to be pouring the red liquid into the measuring jar, and I want you to guess how far up the measuring jar is the red liquid going to go, okay? So the way you're gonna do that is, you're gonna take your page one in your book, first page, you might even wanna write the word red at the top. Red, R-E-D. And then where it says guess, you're going to draw a line across the number to show how far up you're going, you think it's going to go. So let's just say I thought that the liquid go, would go up to, let's say I would thought it would go up to the third increment here, okay? Then for my guess, I would take my pencil and I would just draw straight across on the number three, okay? And then I would take my marker or my crayon, whichever you've got, and I would color it in to show that that's my guess. That is my estimate. Remember, when we estimate, estimate, we make our best guess based on the information that we have. So I think it's gonna go up to number three. What do you think it's gonna go up to? I'm gonna give you a moment to mark your guess. Go ahead. Okay, now it's time to check. It's time to find out. So I've got my measuring, my measuring jar here, and I'm gonna pour the red liquid, the water with the red food coloring into the jar, and we're gonna see. My guess was three. I don't know what your guess was at, was at home, but let's find out what is it actually going to be. Aha, uh -huh. so this container right here went all the way up to level six on my counting jar, okay? Good to know, this container. So now I would go to my check. It was level six, so I would go to number six Go straight across at number six to show, and then I would go ahead and color it in to show that the red liquid went up to number six. Okay. Okay. So that would be my guess, and then my check. I've recorded it in my book. All right. We're gonna to go to the second page of our book. Okay, we're gonna to go to the blue jar next. So you might want to write the color blue at the top. Blue is spelled B-L-U-E. That says blue. So I'm gonna pour the red liquid back into its container. Okay, and now we're going to guess on the blue liquid, okay? About the same height as the red jar, but a little bit wider. I can't show that to you more than this from home. Okay, so we're on the blue page now, and I want you to mark your guess how far up the measuring jar, do you think 
the blue liquid is going to go. You can pause the film if you'd like, or you can, I'm just gonna give you a few seconds. Remember, draw your line straight across. Maybe you think it's gonna go to a four. So you would draw your line straight across at your four guess, and then color it in. I don't know if that's your guess. And that'll show me what your guess is. Okay, so that was, that was my guess. All right. So our red was a six. Let's see what blue is gonna be. Going to five, it's going to six, it's going to seven. Aha! It went to what number? Can you see? Went all the way up to the number eight. So, this container, does it have a greater capacity? than this container? Does it hold more? Yes, it does. We just found out comparing these two, this one holds more. This one went all the way to eight. So I'm gonna show on my check that it went all the way to eight and I would color that in just to show. And I'm going to kind of do that quickly. But I would show that the liquid went all the way up to number eight on that guess. Okay. So now I'm going to pour the blue liquid back into its container. Okay, now we're going to the green container. This is a different shape, isn't it? It's kind of skinnier at the top, but it's quite wide at the bottom. So I wonder if that's going to affect its capacity. What's your guess? Let's turn the page. We're going to now the green page. So I'm gonna write the word green. G R E E N at the top, green. And then I want you to mark your guess. What's your guess? When I pour the green liquid into the measuring jar, how far up do you think it's going to go? Go ahead, mark your guess right now. Okay, have you marked your guess? Right? Let's go back. The red one went up to six. The blue one went up to eight. Let's find out how far up the measuring jar our green container will go, the liquid will go. container went up to seven. So this container, this one went up to eight. So what, did it, what does that tell us about these two containers? It tells us this one has a greater capacity. It holds more than this one. Did that surprise you kindergarten? Why do you think that was? Because this one's taller, isn't it? Yeah? But maybe you can talk with mom and dad about that too. The fact that it's 
quite narrow at the top and then widens out at the bottom means it doesn't hold quite as much, even though it is taller, huh? And this one also has a greater capacity than our first. Okay, it's fun to compare the capacity of containers, isn't it? Okay, we'll pour the green liquid back. This is fun to do. Okay, we're down to our last container. This is a tall, skinny beaker. Scientists use that in their labs. You will use that when you are a little bit older in the science lab. Now we're going to the last page of our book and we're going to write yellow at the top. Okay, I'll tell you how to spell it. We spell yellow Y-E-L-L-O-W. Okay, we've got yellow at the top. All right, what's your guess? How far up the measuring jar do you think this liquid is going to go? Go ahead and mark your guess now. Okay, we're ready to pour. We have to pour carefully. Here we go. Ooh. How far up do you think it's gonna go? Aha! How far up did it go? Almost to five. Close enough to five that I think we're gonna call it five. So this tall skinny beaker, even though it was quite a bit taller, holds the least amount of liquid of all of our containers, doesn't it? Because it only goes up to five. So go ahead and mark that on your check. Were you close in your estimation? And you know what, kindergarten? If you are close, great. If you are not close, that's okay too because you're learning, you're gaining information with which to make your next estimation. That's all part of the learning that goes on, okay? So we compared capacity with these containers and we found out that this tall, skinny container had the smallest capacity. It only went up to five. And then we had the red container that went up to six. And then we have the green container that went all the way up to seven. And finally, we have the blue container that went the farthest, it went up to eight. So we have these in order to show from the smallest capacity to the largest capacity. It was fun to compare those today. You might wanna do more of this at home. Thanks for talking capacity with me, kindergarten. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.